Welcome everybody, and we here with another Hogwarts Legacy video. So in last episode we ended up making it to Hogwarts, the actual academy. As you can see, that's my character right there, Slytherin. And so far I've only started. So this is going to be the second video, second part. Let's do this, let's continue. I actually fixed the audio so you, could, you guys could hear there in TikTok. You guys like to. So, let's see where we're supposed to go next. Oh, damn, it opened right away. Let's go over this way. Find your common room. So, that's like the living room. Yes, sir. Let's go talk to everybody. Already knew that. <clears throat> Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Salo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you're in figure all right. <laughs> it was terrifying, the dragon. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but... Not exactly, not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. What do you mean? Some spells aren't taught to Hogwarts. Which one? They're forbidden. Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Nice, is he gonna teach us some forbidden stuff? <laughs> oh, do shut up. I had an awful time. Trust me. I'm not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Check, check. Told you. The manipulator. Oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a room are legendary. You don't say. I wish you had been there. We had it handled. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps, Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking, Speaking of which, which, I'd like I'd to get in some time on my broom before classes. classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. <laughs> for real, if you gotta make time for anything you like. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Are you a that. keen wizard chess fan? You knew that, that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, also, it's simply not that challenging. challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Imelda. And now this little creep back here. What's he doing? Heard what? Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Is he blind? Uh, oh. Based on all the chatter when you enter the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. How, could, how did you know if you can't see it? Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it.
Did that, Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? mermaid? <laughs> yes, yes, but I've but never I've heard never of a mermaid, mermaid showing, showing up outside our common room window. It is, it is fun, fun to play along, though. though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Ominous. Imelda Ominous. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. And I forgot the first guy already. His name. What was his name? This guy? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> Let's go! Meet Professor Weasley outside the room. Come and roam. Good morning. Good morning. I trust I you're ready, ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you're also expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much a destructive one. <laughs> and of magical education at the ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Which Hogwarts. Oh nice. What is that? It's like, like how to level up and skills and all that? All the stats. Nice. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. We gotta catch up. What you put it? <laughs> Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Is it now? Follow the Professor guide will give Weasley. Opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. The boy who lived. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? Revelio details the field guide can This is your wizardry level. XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Challenges. Scarfield guy. Pages around the world. Revelio. Clever, isn't it? Keep your Keep eyes open, open for more opportunities, opportunities like that, that. Inside, inside and outside, outside of the castle. So we're gonna be able to build up XP on combat. I still find that very amazing. The snake. <laughs> it's like a carpet against the wall. Good 
timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Open map. Oh, damn. So that's how you travel? Our loading screen became slithering. Oh, are. it's a lion. Never right mind. The it's switching. Lead directly to Central Hall. Central Hall? Let's go there. Anywhere in the castle. Quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Cross Station. That will be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, <laughs> Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, uh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good goats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good Let's luck do this. Today. And remember, can't wait till the combat. Your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revelio. Is anything nearby? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little receptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you. guys are watching, sorry, I can't really see the chat. Um, I need to get up and see, because I, I have my phone set up very high. <laughs> I'm actually in Slytherin, I believe. And so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle proof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Let's do it.
Some quests are locked by spells and or level requirements. In this case, you will need to be required levels and or have the required spells to activate the quest. So these are the quests. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, it sounds like you have quite a day ahead, with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hello. hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Something more? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. What painting is she talking about? Rebellion. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Spire stairs and it's down here. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's get you back to your frame, Mr. Moth. Oh, we're doing some side quests. She's up there. Oh. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting and then I cast Lumos to guide him off back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Neat. Although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen it! Rebellion. There we go. Finally made it. Stupid fire! blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. 
his age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprise opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing One I've thing learned, learned as an unspeakable is the value, value of simplicity, especially depending in the how you use battle. it. Now, yeah. let's, let's practice, practice what we've just learned, learned. starting with something, something small. Leviosa. There we go. Learned it. Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let's do this. Let us begin with a basic cast. For a basic cast. Deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts work. Now, I want a fair duel using the Levioso, Basic Cast, and Protego. You may begin. I know. This is your first duel. Let's just say I want to make further. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slithering for you, little cock. I put you Cocky. in spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. Must. Classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelow's entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Salon will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. I knew I was right about you. If you, if you want, want to get, to get the, the most out of your time, your time at Hogwarts, Hogwarts you're, you're going, going to need to, need to break, break the rules, the rules now and then. then. Whether, Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, club, or sneaking, or sneaking into, into the restricted, restricted section of the library, 
You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Revelia! Huh. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Let's do this. Here. here. Behind, Behind you. you. There is an there open, open seat here. here. Thank you. Hello, Hello. I am Nettie. So, so you, you are, are the new student. student. Have, you Have you met Professor, Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to year five of charm. Now, now, this will this be a will crucial be a year, year in your in education, education on the art of charm work, work. But, but I am, am confident, confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charts? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. My, the seven months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed by partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> A new spell. Asio. Akio. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Olai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Let's go. Akio. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Would you get everything? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Professor Ronin. Very simply, so Akio. On one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last. Very good. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Excellent, Excellent control, control there. 
very good. Points to Slytherin. But there is certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. That was easier. It's a little easy. You are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What's this? This is how it's done. Damn, did it too fast. <laughs> I think if I hold the square, that's why it goes so fast. I dropped one. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. Grazie, grazie. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way up. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. It took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Rona wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Until next time. Of course. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Grazie, grazie. Quest complete. Charm class. Then need the kitty. Weasley after class. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Dick. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Dick. Ah, there you are. The little elf. I trust your first class. Was it Dobie? Well? Toby? Did, did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. Seems the Professor Fig taught you quite a bit. Before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Has the Professor Fig said anything? Nothing more, Professor. I see. 
by trying to get a sonnet from a stream. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Hopefully. Is there... There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salah or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Natty? How about Natty? Sebastian, I think. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer and three broomsticks. Three broomsticks. <laughs> Speak to Professor Ronin for your first assignment. Revelio. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number, a number of your of professors, professors have agreed to do so as well, well. but first, first, each shall ask, ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Ravelli! Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Nook. The girl who everyone at school hates for no reason. What? I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Story are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh, 
rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my Damn. gobstones that high got up there somehow. <laughs> Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> the Gobstone. There it is, the flame page. Brilliant. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's Gobstones. Let me finish uh, recording this right here, so that we can start recording again. Professor, why must I complete these tasks? They are meant to give you first-hand experience as you proceed to master new bits of magic. Good luck, and I shall see you soon. I trust the preliminary tasks were. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Reparo. The mending charm. Prepare. You can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of this environment. That's it. Very good. Very good. If you would if like, you like to, practice to practice mending something, have a go with that broken charm. It's a heartbreak. Perhaps a guilty lover. Revelio. Accurate and lashed out. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio! Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Had more luck than I did tracking down my Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, there you go. Gobstones back. No, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> Should you even be evil? No, let's give it back. I don't want her to be mean to me. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Good luck with that. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Even though you warned her, she still doesn't care. Rebellion. Let's go for the next quest. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. 
you must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Let's go. I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. Bam, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, da. <laughs> Nice, let's go. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Little owl. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Oh, looks so nice. Are we gonna be able to like explore all of this? So That's crazy. Call it elective. When your mother was the one who elected me to take it. This is so magical. This time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Potion making? There we go. Grab them all. Let's go. Want to be able to like fly or ride my broom or anything like that? Travel. Look, Look from the from forbidden, forbidden forest. forest. Hippogriffs. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Hippogriffs. Absolutely. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professor claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Hogsmeade. So we just ran all that? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Yes. Always welcome to explore. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I didn't abandon her. <laughs> Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts. That felt like uh, Sonic. The, it's like the song of Sonic Drowning. Hey, Sound there in the back of my head. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looks right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What's going on? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Harry, terrifying. I should be at the castle. 
Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hogsmead Valley. And we've made it. We made it to Hogsmead. Probably gonna finish up the episode here. Here it we is are. To know to start. Yes. The three broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Jukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. In Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! A new wand! And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience hunts me at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Nice! Enjoy yourself! I will see you soon! Thank you. Hosmi Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other po points of interest that you can navigate. Use your field guy map. Open up. Open map. Oh, damn, it is. What's this over here? The Old Fool, an abandoned old building in Hawksmead. So we could explore all this? Nice. So what's with the stars? Zongso sh Joke Shop, the Three Broomsticks. Hogsmeade Square, the Central Square in Hogsmeade, and Steeply and Sons. So we're gonna go to the potions, right? Okay. And then we're gonna go to this one. So let's go to the potions first. Well, there we go. We're gonna finish up the episode here. Let's see if the camera zooms in. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, we're gonna finish up the episode here. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy. We're going to be doing some more Hogwarts Legacy. So stay tuned. I think it's rainy, right? Yeah, that's why my face is a little wet. So stick around for the next episode. You're always welcome to subscribe. You're always welcome to hit the like button. Really appreciate it. And as always, this is Envy signing out. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.